Hi, it's back to front. And tonight I'm coming at you guys with what I would call an experiment. I rinsed my hair down to pour, you know, did an ACD makeup, pour that off my hair, kind of massage my scalp. Then I shampooed with some BL5 clarifying shampoo. Then after that, um, I put my or as a plenishing conditioner and let that sit. I think I've had that sit all day. Uh, yeah, overnight, actually, to the next day. And mind you, I hadn't detangled my hair yet, and I hadn't actually detangled it in a while. So, after that, I had some BL5 uh, moisturizing conditioner, and I mixed it with some glycerin to make it more moisturizing. I need to go and buy me a deep uh, moisturizing conditioner. I've looked at a few suggestions and I'm still kind of researching that, but I, I bought products and I need to use more stuff before I go buy some. So anyway, I put that in my hair and also detangled. Oh my God, it took all night. So I detangled, twisted it up and put a um, bag on my head and wrapped it, you know, wore my head wrap and left that on overnight and all day. So now tonight I rinsed that out and now I'm just gonna um apply some product and twist it up. Well actually I'm applying my leave in and I've talked about this on my blog or Mission Silk by Silk Element. Natural curls for natural curls I <laughs> So anyway, uh, it's a leave-in conditioning cream. And after recently researching, you know, for the deep condition, a moisturizing deep conditioner, I was educated a little bit more about cones and everything. And so I looked at some of my products and some of them have cones. So I bought them, you know, and I'm going to use them, cones and all, until they're gone. And then I'll see about, you know, keep some other stuff in. Plus they work for the most part right now. Like, I started to really like this mix silk because I noticed that like when I would do my wash and go, I'd put some in there and the curls would just be like big and pretty or whatever. So anyway, I'm putting that on first. Then I'm using my oil mix. And this is olive oil, jojoba oil, castor oil, um, vitamin E, Yeah, tea tree, peppermint, and maybe eucalyptus. So it's a lot in there, but it works good enough, especially for my scalp. And then after that, I'm putting on some curling souffle by Shea Moisture. Now I love a sale, and this was on sale at Walgreens. I won't get one half off. Yeah, this was about to get one half. Whatever it was on sale, so I don't think it's for a sex or for like a twist out. So that's what I'm doing, and I've done a few already. And I'm working on this section, so um, I just apply a little bit of leave in all the way on, and making sure I get some on the end. A few drops of oil, making sure again I get some on the end. And this stuff is like slippery and gooey and like unset gel off. And it will slide off. So, so I have to make sure it's actually getting on my hair and not everywhere else. So I kind of work that in, clean your comment a little bit. Use my trusty bin and I got the pink one that was on sale doing like cancer awareness and what. And kind of comb it through, detangle it a little farther because, as I said, it was already detangled. And twist it out. And my hair is really long. One of these days I'm going to do a shape for my hair.
and little baby hurt. Oh, y'all see that? Oh. Hi, everybody. It's back to front. And I'm just showing you guys the results of my twist. And so, hence now it's a twist out. So, as you can tell, the curls are really defined. And it's really shiny. Kind of poofy, too. But it's cute. I like it. Um, there's a little bit of freeze going on, but for the most part, it looks good. I did use the oil to take it down when I was taking it down, but it was a little bit of freeze. So, anyway, um, just you know, I wanted to give you guys a good shot of the curl definition. And it's like I probably already said it's shiny and it looks moisturized and it looks healthy, so I like that. Um, to the touch though, it did add a bit of you know on my fingers, which with natural hair, hair that's bound to happen because of the product we use, at least that's what I found. So I probably need to be a little less heavy handed next time so that I won't have all that oil in it. So, as I may have said before, I wash my hair. Use my mixed silk, silk element leave in conditioner, my combination of oils um, on each section, and then I use the Shea Moisture Curling Souffle. Um, the consistency of it can be kind of irritating because, like, you scoop it up and it falls off. But due to the agave in there and everything, that's probably why. But I do like the ingredient as opposed to the ingredients from my other products. This one is all natural, so that's a good thing. When I use it on my daughter's hair, though, her hair got hard. Maybe it's because I didn't put the oil before I applied it, so my hair is soft. So, um, I like the results, and so I will probably continue to use that, and um, I may even buy some more if it's on sale. Like I said, that'll be another go-to style, another twist, then I'll wear my little cap, I'll buy some more of those. I really like that style with the little bangs in the front or whatever. And it, it's protected, you know, my hair is protected under the hat. I wore a, I went about me a bonnet and put that on under my hat. So, um, yeah, it's cute. It's big, it's growing, long. It's, to me, this is long because if you see the other video and um, where my hair started, this is. But like I was saying, this is long to me. Uh, but, so yeah, I'm gonna pull my curls out because my hair is long. It's long. <laughs> so anyway, um, just wanted to show you guys. Uh, I wanted you to see it better. You know what y'all was thinking? Like this can be so bad. Just taking pictures of myself. But it's all about, you know, my heart growth and the journey I'm going through to living with who I am. Because to me, that's part of it. I'm about to go off on a small thing because my phone don't download uh, videos when they're too long. Anyway, everybody was like, oh, you know, what's the big thing about being natural? Everybody want to be natural. And uh, this one girl, she was kind of hating the way she threw her questions. Like, I could tell, but... I get so engrossed and giving the answer and stuff, and I think about stuff like, yeah, I'll pray for them. Well, you know, what should they think? You know, yeah. It's like, you know, yeah, you can get a relaxer. That's fine and dandy. I said, but for so long, we've been getting relaxers for what? This is how my hair is. I can straighten my hair like this. I don't need no relaxer to do it. I don't need to put no heavy, harsh chemicals in there to do it. And I just just think it's wonderful. You know, we never learn how to deal with our own hair. Yes, dealing with it, dealing with relaxed hair can be an issue or troublesome or whatever. You know, she's like, oh, it's just too much trouble. You know, I mean, it's yours. God made you, and He made us all different. But He didn't say you was too much trouble. He still loves. So, um, but yeah, love it. Toodles.